In this video, we're going to check out the screen on the Deluge now that I'm using a dual camera setup. So you can see a lot clearer in this new video. So I made a new kit here and I loaded in a resampled, very old resample here. You can hear it. Let's bring up the pitch a little. Now it's set here. If I hold this down and then press here, we can see the menu and it's set to the loop mode. So we have all those different modes. We want to leave it on loop. Now let's press the audition and press this upper left pad. Now we're in the waveform view. So here I can change the start point in the kit. As you can see, it shows the seconds and the sample. If I zoom in really close, we can see that we can change this very subtly. So we have a lot of control here. And the numbers up here reflect exactly where that point is. Let's zoom back out. As you can see on the screen, we can change that point. Also, we have the loop point, which now shows here. To bring it back, zoom back out. So now it's just going to keep looping that. Let's exit this by pressing back. Let's actually go back in the menu here. Now that I have a better camera set up. Now that we can see a little better, we can see all of our settings are right here. Accessible. We're going to back out. So we're on this kit. Let's actually go into the menu here. So we have all these controls, as you can see in the menu. And each one you can enter in and exit out. If I press shift and go into frequency, it'll say it on the screen here. So if you forget where a command is, you can just press it and it'll say on the screen here. If you press something that's not there, parameter not applicable. Let's browse again. I'm going to hold an empty audition, press load. We're going to back out. Now we can see a lot better the menu that we're looking at here. So these are all folders that I have created on the SD card. So let's go into drums and I'm going to go down to snare. So I think I tried to show this in the last video. Now that I have a clearer view, you can see it's scrolling if it goes beyond. Here's another one here. There it is. Whoa, that's a long file name. And there it is. So hopefully this should help people that are searching for things find them easier. You can also press anywhere on the keyboard here. And I can just type in letters. And they'll just show up. Let's just do K. There's a K. Let's press a letter. There it is, L, Lindrum Snare. Let's go through our kicks. I have a lot of kicks on here. You can see the waveform here, and you can see the file name here. You can also hold down the left right knob, and we can see what zoom we're in. You can zoom in. We're in the 64th notes. I'm going to turn. We can see that measure display a lot better than last time. Now that I made this video, you can see a little better and how clear the screen is here. In the previous video, I thought my main camera would be able to show it well when I zoomed in, but it actually turned out blurry. Now I'm just using a second camera so we can see a little better.